so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination hey guys what's up a very good morning to all of you so uh, your CSI net exam the final tips right so tomorrow is the exam first of all all the very best for it right treat it like an ordinary day okay though it's uh, difficult to treat it like that because you have prepared a lot for this uh, but the more you treat it like an ordinary day the more confident and the more calm you will be when you are giving the exam right now first of all let's just talk about the um, important things that you need to keep in your keep in mind if you are not taking the printout of the admit card do it it's important you don't want to be running around in the evening going for the admit card so if you haven't done it till now just go ahead and get the admit card printed out right second thing reach the exam exam center 30 40 minutes before 50 minutes before the exam so that you are safe and uh, you are calm when you reach for the exam if you reach it reach the exam hall in a hurry your mind will be diverted you won't be able to focus for the first 20 30 minutes okay then um, okay now coming on to how you have to attempt the paper generally what i have uh, told students and that's what they that's what has benefited them as well is that go for section c first because you are fresh when you're giving the exam if you go for section c section c is the most important part of your csi net exam so you want to pay your full attention to it and uh, score maximum marks and obviously you need your full attention because getting a negative mark or getting a wrong answer will fetch you minus five which is a lot uh, when you compare the cutoffs right so that's it and so once you have done done with section c generally i prefer those of you who are doing inorganic organic or inorganic physical go with the flow like section c go with inorganic first uh, then go with organic or physical depending on your specialization and then look at the other questions okay don't go through the whole paper don't do that okay that's a very big mistake students make they go through the whole paper and you know if you don't know certain questions uh, you know you get get demotivated do, do not go through the whole paper okay do not go through the whole paper that's a very big uh, tip that i'm giving you okay just focus on what you have to do if you have to do inorganic just open section c and start doing inorganic don't don't go through the whole questions one question at a time okay once you're done with section c then go with section b and then finally if you have some time if you have done all the short short questions uh, and you have some time left uh, you can go with section a all right so this is the uh, criteria you, you need to do all right now there's one thing that happens with a lot of students that uh, you know um, they are giving the exam and suddenly you know three four five questions in fact sometimes six questions also in a row they are not able to answer and that's the situation where you know you can go downhill you can really go downhill you can you know you can really mess up the paper but this is the point where you have to keep your calm you have to just sit back get a sip of water take a few deep breaths and understand that it's okay to six five or six questions in a trot even if you don't know that doesn't make that doesn't mean that you're not able you, you won't be able to qualify okay i mean uh, getting 20 questions right in section c out of how many questions i think 60 questions right getting 20 questions right out of these 60 questions so you have a lot of options even if you do 20 questions out of those 60 um you can easily qualify uh, grf right in section c so you have a lot of options so keep keep that in mind that even if you're not able to do four or five questions on a trot that doesn't mean that you're not able to qualify right just sit back take a deep breath calm yourself down and start again okay so you need to break the momentum right same thing happens in sports i've repeated this in another video as well that uh, when you know some person is playing really well and he's getting points back to back back to back what does the opponent do he suddenly uh, you know makes an excuse takes a very lame break either he starts tying up the shoes or he says i'm very tired and goes and sips water that's just to break the momentum so similarly when you're not able to answer questions uh, break the momentum okay and on the other hand if you're able to answer questions on a trot like you have answered five or six questions uh, really fast then uh, and all of them you are quite quite confident are correct then go with the momentum don't take a break then okay when the momentum is in your favor don't take a break when the momentum is not in your favor take a break right so uh, this is one important pro tip that you can see uh, you can uh, uh, use for the csi net exam right 
and don't worry about it there are plenty of opportunities like i have told in my previous videos as well grf is not the end of the world there are so many opportunities and there is so much in life apart from grf right so this is a very small thing right and uh, yeah that's about it so just be calm go to exam center very very like about 50 50 or one hour back one hour before the exam uh, get your admit card printed take your pen pencil whatever you need and uh, you know go through the uh, just revise the notes once don't do any questions right now just go through the notes once just go through the physical chemistry formulas once if you're doing organic just go through the various reagents various name reactions you know just just have a view that's it don't Uh, go into the deep details of it right and then in the evening uh, the best way is either to sit with family sometimes it happens you know uh, it happens with a lot of students that sometimes your family is putting a lot of pressure on you so in that case you can go and hang out with your friends i think friends are the best best uh, stress busters uh, so i either talk to my friends or whenever i am stressed out or i listen to a lot of music right even now i could have played some music but you know there are copyright issues so uh i can't do that but I, anyway whenever i am very stressed i generally play music or talk to my friends go out uh you know be within nature go to a quiet place and just have a walk that's what I, that's what relieves my stress so whatever works for you please go ahead and do that in the evening and relax okay chill out watch your favorite tv show watch your favorite movie whatever it is i don't know so whatever makes you calm okay every person knows what makes him or her calm right so just do that in the evening and have a good cup of tea it's winters right now so you know adrak ki chai se badhiya cheez to aur kuch hai nahi yahan pe mere hisab se so just do that and all the very best and do let me know how it pans out and the answer key for the exam you will find find on the an academy website over here i'll upload the rough answer key but the detailed answer key you'll find on the an academy website i have already made a course related to csi net june 2018 uh, december 2018 solutions right so over there you'll find the solutions instantly just after the exam i'll come back and make the solutions right and um, if you want if you have studied a lot and you're stressed out don't go for the answer key right i'll upload it because that's my duty i'll upload the answer key but that's my recommendation that at least take a days rest don't look up at the answer keys okay it will unnecessarily you know uh, increase your stress so relax on sunday and on monday if you want you can check out the answer keys or you can check out the solutions so that's my personal opinion that i would suggest that if you've prepared really hard and you have you know had sleepless nights for a past few days or if you have slept less for the past few days uh, then that's my recommendation that do not look at the answer key on sunday go and have a look on monday just relax on sunday after the exam right uh, because many of you have to travel to different centers also right everybody is not that uh you can say privileged some people have to travel a lot right so just have just relax don't look at the answer keys on sunday go relax have a good sleep on sunday and then on monday you can look at the answer key right so that's it for me all the very best to all of you and i hope all of you crack this exam my best wishes are with you thank you